Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're going to do a uh, shoe review. This is a Goodyear welted shoe from Trickers. Uh, this is the Richard, which is a long wing derby, um, which you can see here. And, um, you know, they've got a really consistent pattern on these. This is in what I call a carbon color. It is black, but um, in the light, you'll see that it has many olive tones to it. Uh, which I like and it's something kind of cool. It's a very chunky shoe uh, with a pretty good toe iron. That's the distance here going around the shoe. And uh, you can see the stitching is very uniform across the sole, although not very dense, but it is a 360 degree welt. So I would say that the uh, stitching on this is equivalent to like an Allen Edmonds or an Alden, uh, but the, um, the rest of the shoe um, is just a step above. Uh, the way that the upper is crafted, the quality of the lining, uh, the insole, um, even the wear on the soles uh, is just uh, really, really, really strong. And I feel like uh, Trickers does a nice job. Now, this is a country brogue, uh, which is what Trickers is known for. And um, they just do a great, great work. Now, this is also a four eyelet derby and uh that will be a little different if you compare to like these this style of derby uh this long wing derby is very popular at alden it's very popular at allen on men's crockett and jones does a pair although it's mto at this point uh, most of them are all five eyelet and you know trickers does it just a little bit differently and you know the the actual facing itself is about the same size as a five eyelet so i think that a lot of times they would just do a denser or maybe just have it a little bit lower but um, where I, so I don't see the pattern as looking tremendously different because it's four eyes like you would with a three or a two. What I do see as different is the way you tie the shoe and the pressure points on which the tie are, are a little bit cleaner on this. So for me, and the way my foot is shaped, it's a little bit more comfortable. And um, after all, we wear shoes so that we forget that we're wearing shoes. So comfort is really what it's all about. Now, um, we're gonna go ahead and open the shoe up and take a look at the insole. Now these have had somewhere, but not a ton, um, just in my rotation. But you can see on the, they have the, uh, the actual sock liner here on the back is very far forward. Uh, it actually goes out, out to basically where the foot opens up and um, it's just leather behind that. This is something that I prefer. I prefer actually not to have this piece at all and just have it one piece um, and actually do the, uh, the, the writing on the insole itself instead of this little pour on pad um, that a lot of makers in fairness do. Um, and uh, I, I find that to be really interesting. I also, they've done this where they have the tongue uh, where the leather goes a little bit outside the lining on the tongue. Now they do that for comfort, uh, but I prefer it to be, um, you know, uh, all the way around. So that's a downgrade on my end, but the lining here, and I've done a lot of discussions in my shoe, shoe reviews on lining. I think the lining on these are as comfortable um, and as absorbent as Crockett and Jones, which candidly is the standard by which I judge everybody else. So I, um, I really feel like these are very, very well made. Um, I love the fact that the color changes significantly in the light. And I think that this style can be a great addition, um, really a staple in, in an American businessman's wardrobe. Um, when you're in Europe um, and or you're doing a lot of dress shoes, um, this style is a little bit informal. Now this has this beautiful hatch grain, which is even less formal, but I find that uh, this style is pretty versatile along those lines, but if you're really, you know, wearing, you know, clean, slick suiting every day, um, this wouldn't be what I would go to. I would go toward an, an Oxford instead, but um, really do like them. Really for me in the tech world where I need to be casual, um, this is a great style for me. If every brand made it, this would be one of the core, um, one of the core shoes in my collection. Uh, unfortunately, uh, since they've, uh, um, most of the brands don't carry it and I really wanted to learn about a lot of brands, um, I did have to pivot my collection strategy away from the long wing, but I do love it. I think it's a great style and um, it's something that you do see more and more um, out there. So 
This is Wisconsin Shoe Guide. Those are my thoughts on the Trickers Richard. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.